Hello everyone, my name is Professor PC again and uh, hello everyone uh, for joining us for today's lesson Silk Hua story and silk in Chinese means uh, the symbol of China and Hua in Chinese word means China and today is our Silk Hua stories and this is our lesson 3 so uh, in lesson 3 we will first explain about the prehistoric pre uh, political system and then the Xia Dynasty's political system and then I will compare these two ones and give you the meaning why I'm talking about these things so uh, so <clears throat> in prehistorical time in China so the political system is like this this is the group leader of the whole pe uh, group of people then he will pass the little crown to the most talented young guys in his group and he will have several elder men as his advisor. Advisor. So when he's deciding that, like, um, a penalty or deciding a war or stuff, he will ask the opinion of an advisor, and he may listen to the, um, to the opinion of different advisors. This is called prehistorical, um, like, um. De uh, democracy and uh, it's really different and changed a lot when it came to Xia dynasties. So uh, in Xia dynasty, after Dayu became the king, so he will became the king, and now he don't have well, something called advisor again. It's called prime ministers and different ministers, and these guys will be in charge of uh, giving messages and uh, providing information to other people around the world uh, around the, I mean China at the time so now um, if he is dying and he's really old he will pass the crown to his eldest son and his eldest son will be the king and then his eldest son will give to his own eldest son and the crown will be passing like this again and again and his other sons will became great aristocrat and this aristocrat would pass the um, the symbol of the aristocrat to his eldest son and other sons of him would become soldiers and stuff and after this generation these uh, these men's out, um, other sons except the eldest son would just be normal people anymore so um, it will be a whole new uh, political system for these things so if you are normal guys, um, normal guys, you will never have the chance to become the king. But in prehistoric time, if you are talented and you have this diligence and hardworking spirit, you will always be um, the right one to be choose when they are founding a group leader. But now, if you are very talented young guys, you will probably become the ministers or prime ministers. But you will never get your chance to become soldiers or aristocrat or the king. So this is the difference between two political systems. This means everyone with talent will be the king. And this means everyone who is the eldest son of the king or the aristocrat will, um, will be the king or the aristocrat. And then they have crowns prepared for the eldest son and they have other special royal ob objects uh, some container uh, made of uh, uh, metals and stuff for other sons and aristocrats. So, um, normal people will never have the chance to enter the royal family. The whole, uh, fa the whole country will rule by this single family. So, maybe the first son of Xia is very talented, but nobody can make sure that his son will be as talented and as effective as him so this caused a, a really a lot of problems so at last the dynasty of Xia broke all the people won't believe the king they said the king is not God the king is they can't do anything that is helpful for their country so they rebelled and gave them a hit and then the Xia dynasty fought um, at last because it just passed to the eldest son. It didn't care that anyone who has 
talent or who has this ability. It just clear that if you have the royal blood or you are in the royal family. So uh, if uh, something in addition, if the king didn't have any sons or daughters, or uh, I will talk something about daughters stuff um, and something later. So if he don't have uh, some male members on next generation, he may choose his brothers, younger brothers, as uh, the new king, and the younger brother will give the crown to um, to other uh, to his eldest son. But in this family, so all the female members have no uh, right to become a king or ruler. Uh, she even don't have the right to become aristocrat or soldiers or uh, or leaders of the army. So this means like this is a um like a ge gender unfair and prehistoric time in China. But uh, so it's a totally change. Some say it's a progress, progress from chaos to organize. But some say it's actually it's also a chaos, but it's to Modernize to uh, these kind of things because these things kill your talent, but these things kill your family. So, uh, so this caused a lot of problem, and all the dynasties after Xia were choosing the next method because the king had to make sure that the kingdom is him. It belong, uh, belongs to himself, not belongs to anyone. It is his kingdom, not someone's kingdom. So, uh, this there have been many dynasty like uh, uh, after this Xia is Shang and Zhou, and uh, all of them uh, copied the political system of Xia, not the political system of a prehistoric system. So. Um, after all these things, all the dynasty use the same method, and they only care about the identity. They never cares about your talent or stuff. Though there are actually some great kings that is of great talent, a talent, but not all of the kings are of that talent. I will talk about some ridiculous and funny and interesting samples for you guys in next uh, several classes. But uh, as our time today is very limited, I may stop right here and assign you the homework. So you guys have to know that uh, um, which is the generation after Xia and uh, why people overthrew Xia and how these things, how these things happen because it's uh, really uh, unimaginable that uh, uh, the people of one kingdom that will overthrow their own king because they actually point them as uh, these kings as the god of them. Why people will rebel and fight against their own god? And that's the things you, you need to find out on the internet or stuff, and I will talk about it next time. Thank you for the cooperation of all of you guys. And goodbye guys, and uh, remember to bring the assignment next time. And really enjoying to cooperate with all of you guys. Thank you very well. Bye, guys.